So this is our first lesson uh, for our geometry notes. Um, we are doing in for intro to transformations today. Pull this up here. So our first vocabulary uh, slide here is transformation is a change in the position, size, or shape. So that's your blank, everything that's in blue. The original figure is called the preimage. So always when you're thinking about this, think about pre is something before, right? So it's before we do anything to it. The resulting figure is called the image, and there are four transformations, translation, reflection, rotation, and dilation. And in this lesson, or in, yeah, in this lesson today, the ones we're going to deal with are translation, reflection, and rotations, okay? So you can pause here and fill in these blanks. So now the next thing is an isometry or asymmetry is a transformation that does not change the size or shape of figure. This is definitely a term you guys need to know. So when the um, size or shape doesn't change, it's an isometry. Reflections, translations, and rotations are all isometries or isometries. Um, isometries are also called congruence transformations or rigid motion. So there's actually three terms that mean the same thing, guys. Isometry, congruence transformations, and rigid motions. So a transformation maps the pre-image, remember this is before we do anything to it right here, to the image. Arrow notation, um, like we see here, is used to describe a transformation and the primes, notice we have ABC, the original triangle right here, ABC, translated to ABC prime, okay? This arrow means that there was a change, okay? So, um, and that's how we label it. So, with a reflection, a reflection or flip is a transformation across a line called the line of reflection. Each point from its image are the same distance from the line of reflection. So I want to show you all this, okay? So if we draw a line from point A to A prime here, um, that's what I'm going to do here. Notice that this section right here and this section right here are the same distance from that line of reflection. Okay, now there's some other things I want you to notice as I work through this. Then we could do B to B right here, right? Again, notice that this and this, we'll just do it like this, this and this are the same length as well from our line of reflection. And then we've got um, C to C right here, C to C. And here again, this length and this length are the same distance. Now, the other thing that you should notice here is that all of these lines are parallel, right? So that's the other thing about a reflection. All the lines will be parallel and they will be equidistant. The vertices will be equidistant from the line of reflection. Okay? So our next one is a rotation. Okay? So now a rotation is a turn. It's a transformation about a point. Okay? Called the center of rotation. Each point and its image are the same distance from P. Okay, so now I want you to look at this one. So this is where we're rotating from. So we've got G there, and sorry, G here and G prime there, right? So we're going to look at that angle right there. So y'all see that angle right there? So what we want to be able to see is that the angle is the same for all three um, different vertices. So that was G. Let's do F, so from here to F, and there's F. Yep, and you can almost tell it, right? Can't you tell that that's about the same angle? It's just longer. Okay, then we've got um, E prime and E, right? E prime, E is over here. So if you could measure these guys, you would see that they're all three the same degrees, okay? And that's how we know it's a rotation. Oh, and let me go back here. And you also notice that none of these lines are parallel, right? So in other words, if we were to draw, let me go ahead and erase this so you guys can see it. So if we were to draw from G to G prime right there, and we were to draw from uh, D to D prime right there, and from F to F prime, and from E to E prime, what do you notice? Those lines aren't parallel, right? Um, so that's one of the other ways that you can tell that this is a rotation. Then you want to go ahead and compare the angles, right? Okay. So our next one 
is, guess what, a translation. So we're going to do the same thing. A translation or slide is a, trans is a transformation in which all points of the figure move the same distance in the same direction. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. So we're going to go J, K, L, M. So we're going to go from vertices J here, J to J, and then from K to K prime, right? Then from L to L prime and from M to M prime. <clears throat> now, if I could draw a straight line, you would see that all these lines are parallel, right? And the other part about this is that they're all the same length, okay? So all the lines are parallel, and they're the same length. And notice that this looks like a 3D image, doesn't it? That's how you know it's a translation, okay? All right, so this one says identify the transformations, then use arrow notation to describe the transformation, okay? So here we're going to go ahead and map a to a, right, a prime to a, um, or a to a prime, and then we're going to go b to b prime, and then we're going to go c to c prime, okay? So I can already tell that this has got to be a rotation because our lines are not parallel, right? So when our lines are parallel, it clearly indicates to us that it's either a translation or a reflection, right? So we're going to say this is a rotation. Now we can double check this, remember, by going like this. So now if we think that this is our center of rotation, for example, there's C and there's C. Got it? Okay, now let's check the next one. Let's check from this center of rotation from B to B. Does that angle look like it's about the same? It'd be great if I could draw a straight line. Huh, guys? Whoa, what am I doing? Let me go back. Okay. And then we've got, again, from uh, this, again, from the center C and then to see out here. So, wow, that one definitely looks like it's about the same. Y'all see it? Okay. So that's how we can determine that that's a rotation. Okay. That's what that is, a rotation. All right. Now, let's look at the next one, number two. So this time, again, we're going to draw our lines. So we're going to go D, E, F. So from D to D here, um, and then we're going to go from E to E here. And then I'm just going to draw these other ones with different colors so we can see them F to F prime, sorry, and from G to G prime. Okay, so now what do you notice here? So hopefully what you notice is out here that this length is the same as that length, right? Whoa, my marker went crazy, y'all. And did you also notice that this length is the same as that length? Over here, that this length is the same as that length, and this length is the same as that length? So what does that tell us? So when you have um, parallel lines, which they obviously are all parallel, which means they, they're, they're going the same direction, right? Um, they could lay on top of one or if we moved them. So, um, but they're also the same length. So that means this is a reflection. And can any of y'all tell me what they are a reflection over? Can y'all see this line right here? That's where they're reflecting over, right? Y'all see that? And what is that? That's the x-axis, okay? Okay, so now I want to see if you guys can do these two and come back to me when you're done. Pause the video. All right, so now, again, I'm going to draw from A to A prime. I'm going to draw from B to B prime. I'm going to draw from C to C prime, and I'm going to draw from D to D prime. So here again, what do you notice? They're definitely not parallel lines, right? So my guess is, again, that this is going to be a rotation, okay? So let's compare again. So now, if we, if we go from the center here, if we go out to A from there, and then we go out to A up there, looks like an obtuse angle, right? Okay, so now let's look at B. So here's B and B prime, right? Okay. Now that looks like a different angle to me, so that's interesting. Oh, but you know what? It's because the actual drawing is off. Y'all notice that? This is wider than this is tall, so that's not going to work for us so good as far as that's concerned. But the fact that we drew those initial lines, so we're going to say again this is a rotation, right? Okay, so now go ahead and do number two, pause the video, come back to me when you're done. Okay, so here again, we're going to draw a line from P to P prime, from Q 
Q to Q prime and from R to R prime. Now, what do you notice about those three lines? They're all parallel, right? Okay, and do you notice that this makes a three-dimensional shape? Me too. So this is what we call a translation. Okay, so it means that the uh, object slid, right? And we can even determine how far it slid. Um, so like if we look at, for example, P right here, we go up one, two, three, and over one, that's where we got to P prime, right? So we went one right and three up, right? So there you go. That's where we're going ultimately, y'all. Example three says a figure has vertices of A, B, C, and gives us the points. And after transformation, the image of the figure has a vertices of A, B, C. Draw the pre-image and the image, then identify the transformation. Remember, pre-image is before we do anything with it. So that's going to be our A, B, C. So we're going to go ahead and plot A, B, C first. So we're going to plot 1, negative 1 right there. So that's our A. We're going to plot B, which is 2, 3 right there. We're going to plot our C, which is 4, negative 2, which is right there. And then we're going to connect these vertices together to make us a nice little triangle. Then we're going to do A, B, C prime. So we got negative 1, negative 1. So that's going to be A prime right there. Oh, by the way, this is our pre-image over here. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Okay, so then we got B prime, which is negative 2, 3. So that's our B prime. And then we've got C prime, which is negative 4, negative 2 right there. That's our C prime. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and draw this one as well. Okay, so now we're going to connect these vertices. So we've got our A and our A prime, right? So we're going to connect those. Notice we got it's one away from there and one away from there. Then we're going to do our B and our B prime. Connect those. So this is two away there and two away there. And then we're going to do our C and our C prime. So we're going straight there again. This is four away there and this is four away there. So notice that all three of those lines I drew are parallel and they are the same distance away. The vertices are the same distance away from what? That Y axis. Whoops. Can't draw too good today, y'all. Uh, the y-axis, right? So I'm just going to go straight down here, slow, down, slower. So they are the same distance away from that y-axis. So what is this? So we would say this is a reflection. And what's a reflection across? The y-axis, right? Okay. So example four is another one we're going to draw. DEF and DEF prime. Okay, so we're going to draw DEF and then DEF prime. And then we're going to figure out what happened. Okay, so DEF, D is 5, 2, right there. E is at 2, negative 1, right there. F is at 0, 3, right there. Okay, so we're going to connect these and make us a triangle. Okay, so that's our DEF, and now we're, that's our pre-image again, remember, because it's before we do anything to it. The other one will be our image. So now we're going to plot DEF prime. So D prime is 3, negative 1. So 3, negative 1, right, right there, that's D prime. Then we've got E prime, which is 0, negative 4. So that's E prime right there. And then we've got F prime, which is negative 2, 0. Negative 2, 0 is right there, so that's F prime. So now we're going to draw this. Okay, so at first glance, this looks to me like it's a slide, okay? A translation. So we're going to now again connect D to D there, E to E there, and F to F there. Now, do all of those look like they are the same length? Yes. And do they all look parallel? They do to me. So that means these are tra this is a translation, y'all. Okay? Okay, what kind of translation? Let's just pick one point. So 
We could pick our D right here. Y'all see D there and D prime there? So what did we do to get to D? We're going over one, two, right? So two, right, and then what? Up, one, two, three. Three, up, okay? So that's exactly what happened. Oh, wait, take that back. Mm, good, good mistake I made there, okay? So we gotta do this the right way, y'all, because we gotta go from the original to the new, right? Okay, so let's do that again. So we're gonna go from D here to D prime, right? So we're going down one, two, three, and we're going to the left two. So it's two left and three down, okay? All right, let's see if you guys can do this last one on your own. Come back to me when you're done. So this one, we've got four vertices. So we're going to go two, zero. That's E right there. And then we've got two, negative one right there, F. And we've got five, negative one right there. So that is G. And then we've got five, zero right there which is H. Looks like a nice little rectangle, y'all. So there it is. Whoops, not a very straight line there. Sorry, y'all. Okay, now we're gonna write, we're gonna do our EFGH prime, okay? So this is at zero, two. That's where our E is, E prime, sorry. And then we got F prime at one, two, F prime. Then we've got G prime at one, five. And then we've got H prime at zero, five. H prime, okay, so again, here we go. Now, once again, uh, some of y'all can tell what this is immediately because it turned, didn't it? Okay, and it was actually on the x-axis and it moved to the y-axis. So here again, this is going to be a what? So if we were to draw our vertices like we were doing before, if you remember, so if we go um, E to E right here, so if we go from the center here, E to E, right? That looks like it's a right angle there. If we go from, again, from here, F to F, another right angle, right? Y'all see that? Now, the other thing we could have done is drawn lines to these vertices. So if we go from uh, E to E right here, and then we go from F to F, well, there's, those definitely aren't parallel. So another hint that this is rotation, okay? We're done.